Hey, hey, it's me today. I'm Good Tom Tommy. Hashtag GTT coming at you from John Jones Real Estate. We've started a new show thanks to Kathleen Sparkle McWilliams behind us. A lot of people, they know they know uh, the contract or whenever they find a house, they know that process that they're involved in. But the buyers and sellers a lot of times do not know what goes on behind the scenes. So today we're starting a new episode of Follow the File. Follow me, kids. We're coming down to the girl. We can't do it without this one right here. Lisa Progar, zoom in there. Good morning. Today we've got Miss Lisa Progar in here with us. She is the person, we, we can't do it without Lisa. She is our person, she takes the contract when we initiate the contract, once everything is signed, she takes over the file till it's closing. So we're just gonna do step one, Lisa. What is the first thing we do when we get a contract accepted? This little file here. This form here gets me all the important information that I need to follow this file all the way through. So I have to have the names of everybody, lenders, the title companies, the mortgage companies. I have to know all the dates and all the deadlines that are due. I have to keep track of all of this. Once this is all filled out, then I have to send emails to every person who I have just put their information here, track down people whose information I do not have. So just to fill out this form sometimes can take a half hour, just to fill out this paperwork. Just to get all the stuff. Just to get the information. And if, if you've got unorganized people like me around here, sometimes it can take even longer. It can take even longer. Somebody's calling you right now. So what yes. is, why is it important to get these dates in, inputted? If we miss deadlines, your contract can be void. Ooh. We have got to keep the deadlines. If we miss earnest money, you're, they can throw out your contract. So what are some deadlines we're looking at early in the process? Three days you've got to have in all your information to the bank to make sure that you're going to follow through on your loan. Um, earnest money. You've got to have your earnest money turned in. Uh, that's usually specified in the contract how many days you have and where it needs to go. You also have 14 day deadline, which is also for your appraisal to be ordered. The, um, follow through with your mortgage company, your insurance to be ordered on your new home. And uh, when is the home inspection going to have to be? The home inspection is usually stated in the contract. So once we get that, we have so many days to get that ordered. Then you have so many days after it's ordered to come up with a repair proposal if you want items fixed. If you do not get that information in, they do not have to fix anything if you do not meet that deadline. So that's another reason why deadlines are so important. Okay, so whenever you're buying a house, you need to know all this stuff. So a lot of times the listing agents, even though you, you think you've got the contract, that's just when the process starts. Like Lisa's saying, there's so many deadlines. We also have to track to make sure their, their mortgage is performing the way it's supposed to. So hey, we're gonna continue to do this every Thursday. Follow the file, that's Kathleen's name of this, where we're gonna come in here and we're probably gonna track certain files. We cannot give the name of the people to protect them but we will tell you scenarios. So if you're looking to buy or sell a house, please watch this because it'll help you understand what you need to go through.